All right, so we're going to start rating measure today, section 2.5. This goes in your notes under section 2.5, radian measure. And radian measure isn't very difficult, but the key to it is that it's all about fractions. Okay? And we're going to split the circle into half, quarters, and then eighths. Working with those eighths is going to be identical to playing with those fraction cards. Okay? On those 16 blank cards, what we're going to do in the future is we're going to make those 16 blank cards into our 16 exact value triangles. Okay? So that's why we started with the core cards today. Um, and now I'm just going to go over radian measure really quick. The most important thing to know about radian measure is that it is unitless. There are no units attached to radians. Circumference of a circle is equal to diameter times pi. If I were to measure both the circumference and diameter, I would measure them both in inches. And then if I were to isolate pi, I would divide both sides by diameter and inches. Diameter and inches. These would cancel. And I could see that pi is the ratio of circumference to diameter. And my units cancel. There are no units attached to pi because they can't. So the notation for radians is always the independent variable x versus the Greek letter theta. Theta means degrees, and degrees are a unit. So if you see a theta, the problem's in degrees. If you see an x, it's an independent variable. Just point out one other important thing. What is the difference between this and this right here? Really? 3.14 is um, the radius of not exact, it's just an approximation. Right, that's right. So if it asks you for an exact value, you're always in terms of pi. If it asks you for an approximate value, you could be a decimal. So here's our unit circle, right here. Unit circle, by definition, has a radius of 1. Right, so our radius is 1, no matter where we are, our radius is 1. So the circumference of that circle is 2 pi r where r is equal to 1. So circumference of the whole circle is 2 pi. I start at 0. I go all the way around is 2 pi. Halfway around is pi. Put about a quarter of the way around. Yeah, half of that. Pi over 2. So I have 1 half 1. 1 and a half. Let's put those two. in half. So now I'm splitting it into 8 and I get 4. So Pi over 4, well, 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. This would be 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, whoops, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and back to 8 pi over 4. So I split it into 8, just like the fractional You measure the length of an arc in radians, or you can measure the angle. It What's my five. angle right here, Amy? OK, five. so our other five. reference triangles that we know besides 45 are 30, 60, 90. So then, Courtney, I'm going to draw in my is a third of the way to 180. So my 60 is right here. It's a third of the way, so it's pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3. 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, 6 pi over 3. 30 is 1 6 of the way to 180. So my first one is 1 6, 2 6, 3 6, 4 6, 5, 6, 6, 6, 7, 6, 8 over 6, 9 over 6, 10 over 6, 11 over 6, 12 over 6. Big picture is we are moving from degree units to radian units because they are unitless, we are able to apply it to problems now. We can label our horizontal axis in any units we want if we use radians.
There's both an exact value and an approximate value for radians. This would be exact, approximate would be 3.14. They're still both radians. So this right here is 3.14 divided by 2. So this is the same thing as 1.57 as an approximate value. So this arc length is 1.57. The angle it contains is also 1.57. So the radians could be used to measure an arc length or this is my reference angle, uh, Kelsey, at 4 pi over 3. 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Amber at 5 pi over 3? 60. 60. It's going to be, this will be the 30, this will be the 60. Got there. Gavin, what about at 7 pi over 6? Uh, 30. Uh, Haley, what about right here? 30. Amy? Uh, Roxy? 45. Cicely? 45. 45. What about down here? 60. Yep.